today I have a mini haul for you and there's not many products to show you these are just in this bag I did buy some of my products from Boots but not all of them were from there and all of these products were purchased by myself and I did see a lot of new products that I really wanted and I was pretty much drawn to all of these as soon as I saw them I was like I think I really need to try these so only one of these products I believe I actually repurchased and I really did like it so I decided to repurchase it but the majority of these products are brand new to me and I'm really really excited for trying these out so I'm going to crack on with the haul and show you exactly what I got so the first place that I bought products from was Makeup Revolution and I saw these and I was like I really do want to try these out. One of these products is a brand new product that they've just brought out and there weren't many reviews on there. I think I saw about one review on the whole of the internet and I was like I really do want that. I'm really attracted to that and I really just wanted to do a little review myself as well just so you guys can see exactly what it's like. So the first thing that I got is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Aqua Brow Tint and this is in the shade Medium and this is really really dark. This is what I'm wearing at the moment on my eyebrows and this is meant to be medium and I have very very dark eyebrows and I saw loads of reviews and people were saying about how the darkest one is completely black and goes a bit purple so I decided to try this one out because it looks a little bit lighter than it actually does when it goes on as you can see I do have it on my eyebrows so it is a lot darker than what it shows in here but I really do like this I believe it was only about three pounds it's actually a dupe for one that is by NYX and we don't really get NYX over here in the UK we do get some of the products but we don't get all of them and I really do like this it's quite hard to do the first time that you put it on your eyebrows I was a bit messy and like I can't believe I got this this is so annoying but I did get compliments on my eyebrows today when I went to work which was really good and I give it a very big thumbs up because of that and it's also a dupe for the makeup forever brow gel and i believe that that's very very expensive it's probably about 20 odd pounds and this is only three pounds and honestly if you want to try out a brow gel i definitely recommend that you try this one out it's waterproof and it's very highly pigmented and the other thing that i purchased from makeup revolution is this brand new palette and i saw it and i was like i really need to have this and this one is the mermaids forever palette and i believe it has 32 ultra professional eyeshadows in it now these eyeshadows are not that big they're actually this size on here if you can see yeah you can see there these are the actual sizes of the palettes in here i knew that they wouldn't be huge ones like the pro palettes but it is quite small but you do get a lot of colours in there and the palette is quite big itself but i did think that it was going to be a little bit bigger when i purchased it but as you can see this just looks like the ocean is first bit of packaging and then you open it up and it pretty much looks exactly the same as the blush palette so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the packet and it's really nice and sleek and shiny and it says on the back mermaids forever and as you can see it looks pretty much identical just a little bit bigger than the blush palette this one is the eight blush palette and this one is the eyeshadow palette and they are pretty much identical it's just the sizes that are slightly different i like the fact that it has the names of the palettes on the back so you don't need to bother opening opening up the palettes to see what they are and if you open it up there is an absolutely giant mirror right here that I can't really cover up at all it's sort of going to be blinding you but these are the colours that they have and there's 32 different colours in there and they're very very pigmented so for instance I'm going to go for this one this one's called Ariel so it's all to do with mermaids and the sea and I'm going to go for this one uh, this one and that is how pigmented that they are you get a lot of color payoff on them I'm going to be doing swatches of this palette on my blog so keep your eyes peeled out for that one and I'll link it down below as soon as I've done it but I love all the different colors and all the different names in here you have urchin princess Ariel fishtail turtle undersea seabird whale prince and future and seashell I really love the shade seashell it looks really really nice and I like the fact that you have all the names on this sheet as well so you can see exactly what they are for if I'm doing makeup tutorials the next thing that I got is the Sally Hansen salon insta gel strips now this doesn't have a name on it because the top thing has come up where it says the names but I believe that this one is a wine color but I will put it down below if I know exactly what shade it is now this is what you use when you have the gel insta kit and you do get the LED lamp and all the different things in there that you need for it and I have actually purchased that and there's not really many colors that you can get in the set so I decided to get some of these I were only from Poundland and I believe that these retail for about six pounds and I am really excited to try this out because 
I have never had gel nails before and also it says that it's chip resistant and lasts up to two weeks and my nail varnish pretty much chips after about two days which is not good so hopefully these are going to be really good. I also purchased a Carmex lip balm but this one is the strawberry one, it's a little bit different, I've never had the strawberry one before, I normally always go for the cherry one but the only thing that puts me off is that the smell of this, it's quite strong but it's not as strong as the cherry one, with the cherry one I could feel that it was strong and it was doing stuff to my lips, this one I'm just not quite sure if it is moisturising my lips as good as the cherry one. I do love Carmex lip balms, I do love my Carmex cherry one but I just wanted to give this one a little go because it was something different so I will keep you posted to let you know if this works as good as the cherry one and if it makes my lips really nice and soft. And the next product that I purchased is a product that I've seen loads of positive reviews on and I did watch a Casey Holmes video from last year and she did do a review on this product and she said how good it was and it's a holy grail one and this is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara and this is in the shade Fetish Black and I've been eyeing this up for a very very long time and I've been like I really do want to try it and I have the shortest eyelashes that you've ever seen in your life and the only mascara that really works on my eyelashes at the moment that I absolutely love is the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara that is perfect to most my eyelashes so long and so thick but I do want them a little bit longer. I did actually get this £5 off because I went to a website called allbeauty.com and they have loads of different products on there that are a little bit cheaper and I say £5 on this which I'm really really excited for because I just think that it's quite expensive for a mascara but just look at how gorgeous that packaging is it looks so sleek it looks I don't know I just can't get over the packaging it just looks so gorgeous and so luxury and I'm really excited to try this out and the last shop that I went into was Boots and I purchased a couple of products from there and the first product that I got is the Benefit Professional Primer and I did use this about a year ago but I can't really remember how it was on my skin I didn't have really big pores back then I had sort of like small pores and they weren't really visible at all so I can't really remember how it worked on there I have been using the Maybelline Baby Skin at the moment and it doesn't really seem to be doing anything for my pores really and it's meant to be dupe of the Professional and it just doesn't really work that well on me at the moment it is keeping me really nice and moisturized but I did want to give another go to the Benefit Professional I did get the small size because I didn't really want to spend 25 pounds on a primer especially if it was complete and utter crap so I decided to get the small one and then I can see if it's going to be good this is lasting me a very long time I just need a pea sized amount and it does all over my nose and my cheeks and also onto my forehead but I will keep you updated and let you know what I think of it and if I like it. The next product that I purchased is a new product that I saw when I went into Boots today and this is the Maybelline Brow Satin and this is a two step thing for your eyebrows and this is the second product that I bought for my eyebrows because I just want to test out different products and see which is the best for my brows and if I like it and if I don't like it and which ones I can sort of handle because some of them take a little bit of getting used to. So the first side that you have is sort of like a brow whiz so it looks like this and you can just wind it up and this is how pigmented it is. This is the dark brown shade and that's exactly what it looks like. So it's quite nice and pigmented and quite dark on there. And the other side that I have has eyeshadow on it. So you just rub it into where the hairs are just to fill it in. So that's what it looks like. So it is quite dark but it does look really, really good and it will match my eyebrows and also my hair. So I am quite excited to be using this because I haven't actually seen anything that looks anything like this. I didn't really want to spend all the money on the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this looks like it might be a lot easier easier and I might get the hang of this a lot easier than the brow gel. And the last product that I purchased is the Barry M Lip Liner in the shade 14. I believe that it is called Coral and I'm wearing this at the moment on my lips and I'm also wearing it with my Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Juicy Papaya and I really love the combination of these together. It looks really gorgeous and a really nice corally orangey colour and I do feel like I can wear this a lot over spring and summer and it just gives off a really nice colour. I do have a lot of corally coloured lipsticks and I also have an orange lipstick but I can't find an orange lip liner so if you guys know exactly where I can get an orange lip liner from just comment down below to let me know because I really want to find one because I have this absolutely beautiful lipstick that I got last year and I did do a first impression Friday video on it which I'll link down below and it's my Clarins lipstick and I need to wear that over spring and summer so this is what the shade looks like and as you can tell it's very highly pigmented you only need a tiny tiny amount on your lips you only need to go on really really light and I haven't really used much of this 
and I've done all over my lips with this it's absolutely gorgeous and I was really happy that I got this actually because it's like a colour that I've never seen before normally you get the reds and the pinks and the beige and the browns out of all of the different cosmetic companies but I saw this one from Barry M and it looks really gorgeous and I'm so excited that I got it because it is an amazing colour for spring and summer so these are all my products that I have in my beauty haul and I really hope that you enjoyed this video make sure that you keep checking back on my blog for all of the different swatches and also for the reviews on some of these products make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys bye